Hey friends, it is Laura Patricia Martin and I want to have a big conversation with you today of what's on the other side of pain. What's on the other side of this, you know, shadow work that we hear a lot of. And I know for me, when I was first going through my journey, which is what I want to talk to you about today, I want to have an honest conversation about where I was and how I got here and the work that it took and the mistakes I made so that you can learn from that as well. As you're coming on, say hi, let me know, are you watching the replay? Are you watching this live? Do let me know your name because I know the little bubbles are a little bit different with people's names so I like to get to know everyone um by your actual name so make sure you drop it as you're coming out so we can get connected if you're new to my world hi my name is Laura Patricia Martin I'm the founder of Healing the Happy which started as an IBS anxiety business and has transformed into trauma-informed living nervous system regulation for heart-centered women that are going through things that can turn their pain into purpose. And so we talk about relationships, we talk about wealth, we talk about health, we talk about all the kind of things. And right now we actually have Unbreakably Bold available and we have VIP strategy, strategy sessions available, which I will talk about at the end. But what I wanna talk about today are the comments. So I've had been having a lot of podcast interviews this week, which if you haven't checked out our podcast, it is a perfect place to tap into and land and just feel like a best friend is in your ears because actually podcasts are what saved my life. So my entire journey started when I was 22 after I had lost my mother to addiction. I had run away to Asia and I found myself chasing highs. You know, because I was so numb to my life. I was so numb to the emotions. And I did what every person I know often does is I wanted to avoid the pain. And I was no stranger to pain. I've had sexual assaults. I've had heartbreaks. I've had things with family dynamics. I've had divorces. I've had friends die from suicide. Like I was no stranger to trauma. But after losing my mom, it got to the point of just like, victim, why me? Why does this keep happening to me? Why does this hurt so much? When can I stop this cycle? And I didn't know what to do, so I ran away, right? I ran away to Asia. I lived, ended up living there for six years. And what happens when we don't deal with our trauma is it comes with us. So I found myself inside of addictions. I found myself inside of domestic violence. I found myself inside of exercise addiction and food addiction and all these other things getting lost, thinking somewhere inside of that mess I would find myself. And that ultimately is what led me to nutrition because I thought you know, I was at my rock bottom moment. I was 24 years old. I was sitting on the balcony of my then partner's boyfriend after a physical altercation being like, what the fuck am I doing? And in those circumstances, you have two choices. One, you keep going down the path that you want to go in and it has a way shorter expiration date than you would like. Or you do the hard thing and you realize the only consistent in this journey of life and the things that have been happening is yourself. And that may be hard to swallow at first and it was and of course it wasn't just one day waking up and everything went perfect it was I sat down in a cafe and I told my friend hey I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here and that's how she suggested hey you have a really disordered disordered relationship with food at that time I was 45 pounds underweight I was hardly eating I was over exercising I have chronic health pains and so I got into health coaching and I started to study it. And what happens when we're not actually regulated is we become obsessed with something else. And although nutrition wasn't the safest place for me to land, it did give me a sense of pride because people just started coming to wanting to work with me. They saw what I was doing in my life and they started to grow and attract in that magnetism. People saw me from this party life and transitioning to, into this health life and it got me out of that relationship and off of drugs and all that kind of stuff. But it didn't really change putting my worth into external forces. I now put my worth into my career and I became obsessed. And although it was for good, quote unquote, health, I was getting worse 
you know, no matter how many diets I tried or supplements I bought or doctors I saw or stages I spoke on or experts I sat alongside with, my health kept spiraling and I kept chasing symptoms. And that's actually what led me to gut health and specializing in that. And, you know, I created a really popular and successful business off of that, speaking on stages around Southeast Asia, speaking in universities. I'm sure a lot of you beautiful humans know me from that world. And I realized one core foundation in that because it wasn't about the low FODMAP diet. It wasn't about, you know, biohacking. It wasn't about all the things that I do love and I do do all the time, but it was about my trauma. You know, the reason no diet was perfect. The reason, hi Crystal, the reason, you know, I couldn't keep a relationship. The reason wealth was very all over. I know, isn't it so cute? The reason, um, you know, there was no consistency in my life is because my nervous system was used to chasing these extremes. It was addicted to this high. It was addicted to the chaos. And that's what I do inside of my work with my clients now is yes, we take nutrition into account. We take relationships into account. We take all these kind of things into account. But at the core, when we're obsessing about something and we're overdoing something, it doesn't matter how perfect it is. It doesn't matter if it's the most perfect diet in the world, if you're feeling like it's controlling your life and you're stuck in chronic health issues. And that's what happened with me. Everything was perfect, but I still kept getting worse and worse and worse. It started with IBS, then hypothyroidism, then hyper, or hyper, then hypothyroidism. I then lost my period for five years. It took me six and a half to get it fully back. I had random skin rashes and to the point that actually made me change and recognize trauma was when the rash took over my face. And I remember when I was standing, giving a seminar about anxiety and mental health. And it was my 26th birthday. And I had to stand in front of a room full of a hundred people with a giant rash across my face that we couldn't figure out what it was to talk about health. That takes fucking balls to do that. And the, but it also was so humbling being like, maybe I don't know everything I'm supposed to know about this. Maybe I am doing this wrong. And that's a hard thing because we get stuck in this health world. We get stuck in this self-development world being like, but I'm doing all the things. I am checking all my boxes. I am, you know, waking up at 5.45 a.m. I'm meditating. I'm getting sunlight. I'm eating vegetables. I'm fasting. I'm doing all the, you know, adding my minerals to my water. I'm taking my supplements. Like why, why am I still not feeling myself? And maybe you feel this way. And if you do, I want you to feel my heart connecting to yours because I get you. The thing that's missing is that connection to your nervous system, is that body awareness, because all of the things, they're only beneficial when we're in a regulated body. This is what ultimately birthed Unbreakably Bold is really this science meeting the soul because nutrition does matter but not what we're taking out, what we're adding in. You know, lifestyle does matter, not what we're taking out, what we're adding in. And so for me and my clients and what that looks like is we walk through these pillars of she, so S-H-E, so self-knowledge is the first one where we wanna look at, do we know what's happening in our body? Do you know what your metabolism is and how it works and how that can benefit your mental health and your healing and the stability throughout your day? Do you know what your you know, blood sugar levels are? Do you know what works for you? Not what's working for someone else. Do you know what works for you? Do you know where your levels are at? Does that make sense to you? And then we move into the healing of that, which takes time. We live in an Amazon Prime world of, I want it fast, I want it now, I want it, yesterday and we don't give ourselves the compassion that we pray for and then we move into the embodiment and this is where it starts to become a daily practice a daily ritual a sacredness and it changes every day 
what you need and what your nervous system needs, it changes. It's fun to experiment, but it's fun. It's when you experiment from a place of, I'm just seeing what works. Like right now I'm experimenting with these cold hat therapy practices and I'm experimenting with, you know, different type of archetypes and things like that. Like it just gets to be fun. It's not a thing that saves me. It's just going to be a thing that I add and I can share with my clients and things of that nature. And so it's on the other side of this, right? Like what the whole purpose of me wanting to have you walk away from this conversation with is there is limitless amount of joy on the other side of facing your pain. If I would have just looked at the trauma, looked at, you know, the things that had happened in my early life, the things that happened in my teenage life, the things that had happened in my early 20s, if I would have just looked at those, I would have saved myself a lot of heartbreak, a lot of money, but I also would have not been able to sit here with my tiny little microphone to have this conversation with you. So I trust in whatever has been given to me. But what I want you to walk away with this, from this with, is what are you avoiding in your life? What is that shadow? Because the only thing with shame and shadows is that it's just like shame is just a shadow that hasn't been owned yet. That hasn't been claimed. And when we can claim our shadow, like I can claim that there's judgment. I can claim that there's inadequacy. I can claim that there's shame. I can claim that there's body dysmorphia and eating disorder tendencies and toxic relation. I can claim that. I can own that. And because I have owned that, I am now unbreakably bold. I am the embodiment of my work. No one, it's not this feeling of like, oh my God, they're going to find out. Or when someone tells me they love me, I don't think it's true. All of it I know is true. It is in my core. It is in my soul. That's why I can pivot and do the things that I do. That's why my clients can grow these massive companies and brands and build these lifestyles and heal their chronic health issues and go after the dreams that they want because they know they got their back. And that's what I want to invite you to have a conversation with yourself about today is what part of you is trying to not be claimed because our ego will protect us from facing our shadow. That's just the way it is. Like that's our subconscious brain. Our subconscious brain is 95% of who we are based off of our memories and our experiences and the, the narratives we've been told. Like it is all based on that. And so when we have our 5% conscious thinking brain seeking out answers, which usually comes after the age of 25 because of our prefrontal cortex is finally fully developed, is seeking these answers of like, I get who I have been. I get who I've been all these years and I've been in survival mode and I've been doing the self-sabotage and I've been limiting myself in these arenas, but here's who I want to become. Here's what I want to do. Here's how I want to to turn my pain into my purpose. Here's how I want to lead myself. Here's how I want to change the generational trauma. Here's how I want to create limitless wealth. Here's the brand I want to put into place. Here's the marketing that I want to do. Here's how I want to show up with my full voice, knowing there's a message to be told. That's the birth that's underneath the chaos. That's the birth that is underneath the dysregulated nervous system. And so instead of avoiding it and using, you know, obsessive dieting and, you know, addictions of varying degrees, like even people can be addictions. We often only think it's, think it's like drugs and alcohol and extremes, but I was addicted to exercise. I was addicted to dieting. I was addicted to people. Like I was addicted to work. Like there are certain things that we are constantly addicted to that get in the way of our joy, that get in the way of this limitless potentiality that's on the other side of avoiding this fear. And so if there's something that's coming fresh to you and you're like, I don't even know what direction to go with that, with that shadow, with that thing that's coming up, whether it's jealousy, whether it's toxic behavior patterns, whether it's binge eating or, you know, chronic dieting, whether it's going after unavailable partners, whether it's work upset, like it could be limitless things if you're feeling that look at it and be like what have you been protecting me from 
what what has this patterning hey lena how are you feeling how are you feeling darling what has this patterning been protecting me from because that's all a shadow is right like a shadow is part of the subconscious brain that is just trying to protect us because something that has happened in our life right and so don't shame her away you know i used to refer to this part of me as like my inner mean bitch right and now it's my shadow sister because it's this conversation that we get to have where it's actually a portal of activation that we get to shed light on with every light that we shed a shadow on is a way to point ourselves in the direction we're meant to be going right this is honestly all the podcast interviews i have coming out in may you guys are gonna fucking love if this is something that is landing for you it's it's honestly these conversations around yes there's the science which is you know y'all know that's what i love about the nervous system and that's what i cover more inside of my programs on this stuff it's more of like let's have conversations and get to know each other's soul but in that arena we get to sit and look at how to regulate ourselves in so many different capacities right from nutrition to lifestyle to biohacking to polyvagal theory to understanding the three stages of our nervous system and how to start to work with these things instead of chasing you know the chronic health pains which are usually rooted in our body being stuck in a fight or flight situation which is rooted in our nervous system instead of chasing just relationships looking at why do we feel like we're unworthy of love or you know th relationships have to be quote unquote hard or that we have to keep doing this uh abandonment of self you know instead of chasing dieting and getting the perfect body it's like why do we have to be stuck in this cycle can't we just understand that our body is the safest place to land and that we can work with her because i read this quote one time from who is it dr kimberly i can't remember her last name um but she wrote a quote that like once you get and i'm going to paraphrase but once you get through and you become healed, you're gonna forget the war against your body even existed. That is literally why our brand has pivoted so much because I don't think about my body anymore. Sure, some days like today when I start my moon, I feel bloated, but like my health is easy. And I get that's a privilege to say, but after all of the chronic health issues from the last decade, that's my proudest thing. That's why I love Unbreakably Bold because that's the process, right? Like tapping into pleasure, tapping into the intuition, tapping into this bold leadership. That's what, that's where it comes from. And that's where I want to get to a space of, because when we're done thinking about our body as this project, it just is a vehicle for our mission and it gets to be safe. And yes, we get to honor it. Like I eat well and I work out daily and I do all these little things and testing different theories, but it's just for fun. Like I said earlier, it's not, will this save me, right? It's just a place that, hmm, what will this do to me? You know, out of pure curiosity of doing, you know, cold plunge therapy or hot yoga or, plant medicine or microdosing, like what are these gonna do for me? And you get to play with it as a space of that instead of like, will this save me? And will this finally make me feel like I belong or I'm worthy or I'm all these kind of things. It's, it's just this joy. So I want you to walk away from this really thinking like what part of my shadow have I been fearing? What side of my pain have I been avoiding? Because the truth is, if we're so afraid of feeling our pain, we are not going to be able to tap into this limitless potentiality, this joy, this playfulness, this orgasmic life. Like, that's on the other side of it. And it doesn't mean we're always going to feel the pain just because we're, you know, thinking about it. But we have to understand what is this inner dwelling that keeps coming up so that I can actually tap into this, like, blueprint I have for my reality. So... Let me know how that landed for you. I always love these things. And if there's any topics or anything that you want covered, let me know. Self-projector, projector here. Always happy to chat things out. It's just this was the conversation I was having this morning with uh, one of my podcast guests. And I wanted to share it here because it really is how lives change. And I wanted to share with you guys that evolution of my journey of drugs and alcohol and addictions and abuse to becoming this version it, it takes intentionality it doesn't just one day we wake up and we prayed enough and that happened it takes 
putting yourself in the arena. That's why programs like Unbreakably Bold are perfect to tap into or mentorship or, you know, I have a team of different type of healers and mentors that I tap into daily because I'm not, just because I have tools doesn't mean they can't be refined. You know, like I thought for a long time I had to do this on my own. I did, again, a shame part. I thought if I had to admit that I needed help, it meant that I was inadequate, which is one of my shadows of my life work if you're into gene keys. And so I invite you to check in with what your shadow is trying to invite you to a conversation about. And then, hello. And then if you're feeling called, and this is something where you're feeling connected to my work and you're wondering how to get connected with healing the happy and you know, you're feeling my heart connected to yours and this is what the journey you wanna go on, there's two places for you to tap in. One, Unbreakably Bold. This is the eight week immersion of connecting the science and the soul. So we do have live modules once a week and you have lifetime access to these. We're gonna walk through understanding how to nourish your body, understanding how to move your body, understanding how to tap into pleasure, understanding how to release guilt. This is the shadow work of a program and it goes beyond just like talk therapy and tapping in yoga that you traditionally see because that is not my area of expertise. My area of expertise is science. I love science and I love practical to-dos to do daily. So you can tap in there for that. That is by application only. All you have to do is click here, apply, and then we will see if it's a good fit. And then the other place you can tap into, which I just got a call for this, <laughs> my schedule next week, I'm obsessed with the conversations that we're going to be having, to do VIP intensives, nervous system regulation VIP intensives. So it's going to be one hour. It's going to be recorded so that you have access to it to tap back into. It is only $111. We're going to put together a strategy. So we're going to go through your health history. We're going to go through, you know, the roadblocks and the things that keep you stuck. And then we're going to come up with the flow and the organization and the strategy to help regulate your personal nervous system because I've been having way too many conversations in my DMs about how overwhelming all of this shit is. And I'm gonna break that down. So that is only $111 and you can use that to invest it into any other programs that you feel called to after that. So it's a perfect place if you've been wondering like what it is to be in our world that's a perfect place. And all you have to do is DM me. Um, what should be the word for it? VIP. DM me VIP to book in one of those. I only have two more available for next week. So if you're interested, we can do that for you. Okay. So those are the two places to tap in or we have our six month programs or we have, you know, other little bundles that we can chat about on our little strategy session. So share this with someone that would benefit. I love to hear this from you guys. I love when you share it. Hey, Vivian. I love when you guys grow this community. Are like, I don't know. I just feel so connect connected to you ladies lately. And I'm just so thankful for those that have reached out about the podcast or, you know, the programs that you guys have been into. Like our, it's growing every single day. And it's just, honestly, I do want to just say thank you because it's changing my life. And I'm just so happy to share that. So I was interested on the program, but wasn't signing up yet due to the other investments. <laughs> <laughs> this intensive yes amy book one in let's have a conversation and we can see where it goes from there but we can do it'll be 60 minutes and just to put together a strategy yes shoot me an email i love i would love to set that up with you so my loves if amy claims that that means i only have one more left for next week so <laughs> i love you ladies and i will see you somewhere on the internet happy healing bye